Greetings everybody. Today we're going to talk about the CD4026. This is a counter and seven segment decoder in one package. So basically if we put a single clock pulse into this it will light up the correct pins for a seven segment display to display a one. And if we put in a second pulse it will light them up for displaying a two and so on. When it gets to nine the next the next clock pulse will cause this carry out to activate and this will be carried to the next chip so if you want to count ones with this chip the next chip would be counting tens so this carry out is used to activate the next chip and then on the next chip its carry out will be used to activate the hundreds we also have a clock inhibit which we don't need we'll just tie that off we have a reset so we'll show the activation of that and uh, display enable in and out. So what this this does is completely, if you activate this, it completely shuts off the display and this can be daisy chained to the other chips that we're using as well. And then there's an ungated C segment. We won't be using this, but it's um, used for certain in certain kinds of counting operations. So with that said, let's take a look at the circuit diagram and we're going to use three of these to build a counter which will count from 0 to 999. Okay, let's get started. take a look at the circuit diagram. Let's notice a few things. Here's the ones display, the tens display, and the hundreds display. So when we build this, this will be uh, starting on the right hand side and then going left so that they end up in the correct place. Notice that the, uh, the different control pins have pull up and pull down resistors on them. On the clock pulse, we actually have a capacitor as well, so this is just to get rid of some switch noise. It seemed to work well with a one microfarad capacitor. Notice that the uh, display enable in here is tied high, and then the enable out goes to the next display enable in, and then out again to the next one, so it, it daisy chains along. And notice also that the carry out of the first IC carries down and is sent to the clock of the second IC and then its carry out is again sent down to the clock of the third IC. So once this counts to nine it'll send the carry out to here so that as it increments over to zero a one will appear here. And the same process occurs when we get down to this IC also. Once this gets to a nine it passes on a one to a clock pulse to this as well and we get a one here. That's about it for the circuit diagram. Let's just take a quick look here at the pinout for the uh, the seven segment display because I don't really have it showing. So this is the pinout for the seven segment display. This is this is pretty common um, and notice that they have two ground pins, the three and the eight so if you put your if you put your display down uh, on the table the right way around facing you the pin on the left at the bottom will be the one and it counts up and around this way anti-clockwise and I've also shown it here um, we're also we're not using the decimal point pin okay let's take a look at the build Okay, here we go with the circuit fired up, and you can see right now that there are zeros in the display. And I'm going to start pressing the clock button, and as I do that, you'll see on the 
right hand side display here that it'll start to increment upwards and we'll get all the way up to 9 and then it's going to cycle back to 0 and as it does that it's going to send a pulse out of the carry pin which will go to the next counter in the center and we'll see a 1 light up and so now we've got 10 and then it'll count again up to 10 and then we we'll see a 2 in the next counter and we can keep doing this all the way until we get to 100 I'll do it really quickly and you'll see that when we get to 100 or when we get to 999 it'll increment the 100s counter once so here we go we're getting close to the point where we're going to be at that there's 99 and you're going to see that when I give it one more clock pulse it's going to increment the 100 counter oh I did it twice there so we've got 101 102 and so on this button over here is the reset button so if I press this it's going to reset all of the counters to zero and it does so that's working and I'll put something else on the display here so it doesn't matter just for demonstration purposes this button over here is the uh, display enable disable button so when I press this in it disables the display you can see that it makes a display completely blank so that's it for the demonstration of the of the counter and um, it's a really useful circuit and of course you're not going to be manually clocking it like I am with a switch but um, you could hook this up to all kinds of you know you could have a, a, a laser and a, and a photo sensor and break the beam and have that clock the counter and those sorts of things so it's a very useful circuit for that okay I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.